Hello guys and welcome to episode 39 of my Total War Rome 2 playthrough playing as Assassinids on very hard difficulty and today we're going to be moving on after previously taking Brundisia. We have plenty of armies left to move in this turn so let's get to it. First of all we're going to be moving the Will of Dagon towards Praetonion. I'm going to try and take that. Okay relatively easy. Let's just go ahead and auto resolve. And that will be a settlement captured. Great. So we'll go ahead and raise that. And um, Parade on the On is ours. We will repair it and repair that as well. Actually, let's make sure we're converting these. And I might even be able to head over to Cyrene and start taking that as well. We'll go for like a shrine. And I'll also go for the Nomad camps. Great. Our naval commander has ranked up so what do we want to give to him I could go for like the booster navigator for the extra campaign map movement range that'd be nice or I could go for extra unit experience for recruits extra melee attack skill for assault ships and minus upkeep for all ships naval tactics gives us extra maneuverability and battle speed you can also get Naval Archer, which increases missile damage from the fleet. We don't really have many missiles here. We've got a lot of these assault ships, so probably best to upgrade something to do with that. I might even go for the Naval Commander, just so that we reduce the upkeep for starters, because navies do cost a lot to upkeep, but also because we're going to be recruiting more ships into his navy soon enough I'm sure that'll do we'll leave him in dock for now let's have a look at our agents um, Haidani's already assassinated someone this turn Parmis needs to take care of the Nahan Navali so let's go and take out the shield maiden if we can I'm gonna go for the 81% chance with the poison so we get the wound there, that's nice. Good. Um, Xerxes... Has many faces. Where can he go? I guess probably best for him to head up towards Badorgis now. But he's leveled up. He's maxed out mass poisoning and furtiveness. So I guess we'll just go and max out Spy. Yeah, I'm going to max out Spy for the extra cunning. Okay, for Datis, it's time for him to try and kill off this agent again. Go for the Concealed Blade there. Enemy wounded, that's good. And he's leveled up. Get Furtiveness upgraded. Right, as for Cartier, it's time for him to get on land at Brundisium. And we'll start converting the Colch here. Pretty important. 61% Latin at the moment, so I definitely want to change things up. Um, Arsimis is currently administrating at Judea, which is giving us quite a nice boost to our income. Sogdians is finished here, so he can move around to Patavium. I might even go down towards Latium here, because that's still 53% Latin. We actually want to like make that fully Persian. Uh, Kairos, he's doing a decent job at Dacia. Maybe we should sort of head up towards, yeah, I'm going to head up towards the, uh, one of these Germanic lands. Yeah, we want to convert the culture of the Germans. Let's head up this way. We'll put him into administration this turn. Now let's head to the Forgotten Warriors. We'll take uh, Liminum for ourselves. Wow, 96% remaining. That garrison force actually did a relatively high amount of damage. Anyway, we will convert that and build the trading post here. I might also just build... might be worth building some military buildings here. Now, I think I'm just going to go for a trading post. 
and I'll also get a pit mine. And now the Forgotten Warriors will move down to Berdigala, that's the next move. And then we will move to Tolosa. Actually, Tolosa was taken by Bosporu. It's time for Shmini's commandos to move down towards Taraco, which is actually the capital of Hispania Citeria. If we could take that, that would be a big blow to them. Um, here is among men. I'm not sure if I want to go for this attack on Bodegas. I could do it. I definitely could do it. But I think the Watchmen... I need to keep at least one of these armies free. And I think the Heroes Among Men... If we upgrade them, I'm not sure if we should. Did we fix up the buildings in Brandissium actually? We didn't, okay. Let's just make sure we do this first. So I know what money I have left. So we need a well. We need the career post. We need the city center. And... I guess we'll get a religious gathering since I won't have any cash left. Okay. I guess what I can do is maybe move Avengers First Cavalry to start the siege. Like so. So we will continue the siege. I'm also going to build... Maybe some siege towers. Yeah, we'll, we'll build some siege towers. And then I'll get the heroes among men to reinforce. Okay. So that makes things a bit better. Still at a disadvantage. Maybe they will attack me if that's the case. That would actually be good for me. So, oh, we... Oh, God damn it. Didn't mean to press the break siege button. Fortunately, we still have the movement points to get back in there. Continue here, just what I wanted to do. We will just uh, let that sit for now. Right, the Watchmen, they're going to move up towards Caladunum. And the Fury of Erathragna has actually increased its general um, skill, so let's continue with Slaughter Lord. Actually, no, Incarnation of Dread is way better. Minus 20% morale for all enemy units. Yeah, that's fantastic. Alright, Children of Parni. Getting close to the attack on Carthage. And we have the first men here. Almost ready to attack Salai. And that's going to be another siege that we do, and uh, what we'll do is like kind of wait. Um, yeah, I think I'll just like wait. For the siege. I'm not sure how many turns it will take, probably like three or four turns. And then they'll be forced to attack me, so that's how we'll take that over. Attack Tal. We'll go for the religious gathering um, in both of these because I don't have the cash to build anything else. Which is kind of sad. Honestly, we're really like dry on cash at the moment. I think it's just because we have so many like provinces. It is an honor to serve you. I did manage to get these upgraded to rank four soon. So at Sissia we'll be able to build some armies, but I'm not even sure that we're going to have chance to recruit from them because I just don't have the cash at the moment. Maybe what I could do is like disband the first men and recreate them on the front um, over here. That would probably be a good idea actually, rather than walking them all the way back. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, um, we have five turns until our technology is complete. Nothing really to do in the diplomacy, I don't think. We got a trade agreement with the Caledonia, didn't we? I reckon we can even look for more than that, maybe like a defensive alliance. Sit, friend, and let us talk, and let us have good wine until we. Or can military alliance. Eh, they will take a defensive gallows, alliance. Or you can be the light for my people. I ask. So you demand one thousand. And we now we've got a defensive alliance. To... Nice. That's good. That's good. That's really good, actually. Um, we can definitely work on that and then bring it up to a military alliance, which will help us out even more. 
anyone else who's friendly who we could get an alliance with. These guys. Welcome. That might be a nice we will idea. Talk and then we will feast until our guts rumble. Although I'm a little bit worried about the Frankai sort of attacking the Caledonii or vice versa. Because that would call us into a war and break our reliability rating. All of these Germans hate us so much. I guess we just have to wipe them off the face of the earth. Why not? Let's end the turn. Oh, I got that 1,000. I should have spent that, actually. Now, what's the Markamani doing? I think they're trying to stop my other army from reinforcing the sieging army. That would suck if they were successful. If they're not successful, then I should just be able to take Budagus, right? I have no idea why their army moved away, though. Because surely that means I can just sort of resolve and wipe them out. Because that's their last settlement, I'm pretty sure. Well, Lusitania must hate us by now. I'm surprised they haven't declared war in one of these end turns recently. So many armies moving. Only they were actually effective. <laughs> like the Bosporu are great military allies that are actually helping me out. But all of my satrapies, I have no idea what they're doing. Oh, and this isn't good. This really is not good. The executives of the fire of great purpose against the blood axes. They have managed to catch up to us. I was hoping they wouldn't, but they have. And now we're ambushed because we're in force march stance. Eesh. How do I even play this? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just down to the elephants. I don't know. If we even have enough elephants to do the job. We've got how many? Eight? Eight elephants? Where are they? Oh, they're right in our faces. Okay. That's not so bad. Um, we can just sort of run away from this engagement. Um, <laughs> like we don't have the fortifications this time, so I'm in a pretty shit position. Uh, what about my cataphracts? They can all break off. All their archer fire and stuff's going to be coming in. Oh wow, they have some archers and stuff on this side. Let's just charge them down. Our general is under attack. Charge! Okay, that was a bit of a mistake on their part. What's going on here? Mounted Germanic warband. Gonna be engaging my general. One of our units has gone berserk. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> Did I just like put it onto my own unit? I think I just war cried my general. Like a derp. Alright, these trees are kind of doing me in. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my general's not surviving very well. <laughs> I, think th I think this army's just dead. <laughs> like we managed to catch on to their ranged forces quite nicely. Are these guys even fighting anyone? I don't think they are. Alright, let's uh, come back in with those then. Try and kill some of these. Germanic mounted warband. Hopefully these guys will finish off soon. These ones have been surrounded. Come on, Griv Pambar. Our general has fallen. Oh lord. Glory. 
This is just disgusting. Ready. Javelin ready. Our men flee the field of battle. We're doing a lot of damage to them, I think, but uh, it doesn't really matter as we are just being run down. The Groove Pamba are trying to hold on, but they can't really break off because they have Our nothing to hold the, the enemy in place. This is a shameful display. Oh boy. <laughs> That's like attrition that they were taking over time. This just was inevitable. Our men flee Holy the field crap. of battle. This is a shameful display. <laughs> what an ambush that was. It's kind of my fault due to the fact that I like almost allowed this to happen. But yeah. Like by moving in force march. That's what caused me to lose this battle so hard. I probably would have lost it anyway because again the attrition had just demolished the army. That army is now probably just gone. Which I guess is okay. It frees up a bit of income. But it's sad. It's a sad end to the executors of the fire of great purpose. Surely that army's dead. No? Like our our, na our army did die, or our leader did die. What are they doing? <laughs> They're really going all out. <laughs> Getting some disruption on that as well. The army actually left us. <laughs> Maybe they're not dead after all. Our general is. That was one of our generals in the House of Sasan. An honourable death. Military sabotage. Built through. Uh, wounded one of my dudes. Lubavela. Misled, misled command. An Avengers First Cavalry. Needs a new general once again. Okay. Um... I can't remember who it is who like us. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Spand Spandiada. I think these guys like us quite a lot. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, we'll give him the guy in Abspa and he can take over Avengers First Cab. The executives of the Fire of Great Purpose, though, they definitely need a new dude. Uh, maybe this chap would be a good idea. Or we could just go, like, full zeal with armoured in Indian elephants again. Ships of the Port gave us plus five squalor and uh, 100 wealth from commerce. Okay, well then. Um, let's see, shall we? He can't actually go anywhere. <laughs> I feel like disbanding this army would be the best idea. This. Go for the slaughter there with our veteran. And uh, I think we just disband this army. Okay. Now it's time for the Watchmen to take their place in the move towards Caledunum. The Watchmen already have a veteran, so we'll have to send this veteran elsewhere. Uh, maybe we'll bring him over towards Avengers First Cavalry or the Heroes Among Men here. The Heroes Among Men don't actually have any unit experience yet. But time for Budagus to go. Let's just go for the attack here. We're not going to have to play that one out. Well, we can loot that. 7,700. I think I'm going to do that. And we're going to take it. Great. 
I will then dismantle basically everything. Although I could change this to a spice market. I might do that. Get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Okay. So that's going to give us 15,000 to work with now. Which is much more like it. Let's jump over to Act Out because I want to make sure that I stop the building of the religious gatherings. And we go for a shrine. And we go for the nomad camps, maybe. Or even the trading post. Don't need public order, so we'll just go for a pit mine. Let's uh, grab the first men and start that siege. While we're here, I will make sure to get some light siege towers. Let's uh, just continue the siege then. How long is that going to take? Two turns before surrender. That's that's more than good enough. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go to Sisia. When we get the level four here, what we're going to do is um, create our new army, which will basically reinstate the legacy of the executives of the Fire of Great Purpose. Okay. As for Haidanis, they recruited another spy, so we're going to kill them. <laughs> Enemy assassinated. Could have been the same one as before, but I don't know. Uh, do we take Consentia or do we take Esculum? Well, we can take Consentia this turn, so I'm going to do that. We take this settlement for you, my lord. That is mine. Thank you very much. Ready for orders. And I will convert that. Don't need another shrine, so we'll go for the pit mine. And... Maybe in nomad camps as well. Actually, let's go for trading posts. We'll go for trading posts there. That's fine. I'm going to get uh, the olive press upgraded because that increases wealth from agriculture in all regions. My Lord. All right, Parmis needs to find somebody to kill. I think we'll come up to Caradunum. Okay, that would be fine. Did we actually kill the Markamani? We didn't. We took their last settlement. But they aren't dead yet. So I think Xerxes can come along and try and take out Siegfried here. All must die at the Enemy assassinated. That's nice. That was a 20% chance of that actually. And we managed to get it. So that's good. Um, Datis can come over to... Liminum here. And we're going to move the Forgotten Warriors down to Berdigala, although Bospori has kind of beaten us to it by the looks of things. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. I can then just march towards like Araculum here, and we'll take like Numantia and all that sort of stuff. Third Legion is in Taraco. We're going to start the siege here. Get ourselves some siege towers. I might get myself a tortoise for the gates. Besieging settlement. Okay, that'll do. Um, Cartier is now doing his culture conversion, Sogdians. He's coming into Latium and starting his culture conversion here. So he's going to do that. Kairos is heading up towards Grinev. And we're going to start changing the culture here. Good. Well, a Dagon. Not sure what we're going to do uh, with the Will of Dagon. But one thing I have noticed is there is 94% Latin culture there. So it's time for Arsimis to move into Libya and start culture converting for us. The Shrinis commandos are fine. They might get attacked, which would be like okay. Um, yes. Children of Pani 
Put them into normal stance. I think it's time to attack Carthage. Alright, can we go for the auto resolve? What's that like? 75%. What's the siege gonna take? Eight turns. Hmm. For you, my lord. I think it might actually be pretty cool if we like fought this on the battle map. But we're gonna need a method of getting through the gate, so that's gonna be a tortoise. We're gonna need some siege towers. I think maybe we just continue the siege there. I'm not going to bother waiting. Let's just go for the aggressive stance and just take them out. Took quite a lot of damage in the process. Let's loot that and uh, I will then get the city there. I will dismantle this. What's that? A proc uh, procurator's villa. You can change that to a courier post. Dismantle this. Don't need that. Um, this can be dismantled. And so can that. Okay. Does dismantling cost money? No, it doesn't. I didn't think it did. But it just confused me. My my uh, amount of cash there was a bit off. The children of Pani, they can sort of get more weapons and armor. But I don't think I'm going to give that to them just yet. Two turns until surrender for the first men. For the skills on Kairos, I think we're going to go for a strategist. I mean, he is the one who sailed all the way across the Mediterranean to get to Carthage, after all. So that was definitely a strategic move. <laughs> the Will of Dagon. Can we take out Alexandria, I wonder? Because this navy is pretty strong. Like, these are immortal infantry. This navy is probably pretty weak in comparison. We've also got, like, four Onaga ships. Like, that battle would be pretty cool to play out, for sure. Right, meanwhile, um, I'm just going to check my provinces because there is a few things that I need to do. We need to convert the culture there. Sorry if this is hard on the eyes. You might want to look away for a bit while I'm <laughs> sort of jumping around all of the provinces. I just want to make sure that I've built everything I want to and that I haven't missed out building anything so I don't get slums. We built the religious gathering at Aretium, for example, and it's just like things like that that I kind of wanted to avoid. Doesn't matter if they're already built because it just costs me to dismantle them. Maybe upgrading to a trench mine with gold would be a decent idea. We have like so many provinces now. Actually crazy. What's the one we don't have? Bergium. That's still owned by Gallic Rome. Caledonia, I haven't taken that yet. So maybe we'll have to send an army towards that to get to just capture it. Got two armies here. So maybe we could have the heroes among men move towards Bergium. Now, what was that? Hercynia. We got uh, Carmania, Arbanensis, Palmyra, Libya, uh, Chorasmia, Bithia, Pontus, and Africa. Minia Magna. Okay, we're fine. That, though, has unfortunately been my time. I am going to have to leave it here. In the next episode, what we're going to do is probably have a nice battle at uh, Tarraconensis. We'll also have a good battle at, uh, I was going to say at Carthage, but we already did that. Um, where else could we have a battle? I think there's a couple going to happen up here. 
especially against the Blood Axes, getting sort of revenge for destroying the Executives of the Fire of Great Purpose. We're also probably going to start building the Executives of the Fire of Great Purpose once again um, with the level 4 buildings in Sissia. That would be quite nice, actually. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.